Okay, so we're here with Birthdays the Beginning. Uh, what is Birthdays the Beginning? That is a great question um, that nobody asked, because uh, who cares? But I'm going to tell you anyway after I set up my big old chat window so I can still see people. Hello, people. There we go. Alrighty. So, Birthdays, the beginning, is a simulation game. That's the best way to put it. Uh, it's a simulation game. Beautiful, beautiful uh, art and a beautiful art style. And the, I'm just skipping through this. The basic idea, kid finds a book, magic book at his grandpa's house. Um, it looks like there's just something sticking out here. It's just my desk. Um, yeah, he go, goes to his grandpa's house, finds a book. The book has a treasure map. And the kid accidentally, the world, just destroys the whole world. It's the whole dang thing. And so, of course, since you're playing the kid, you need to fix the world. Because what else would you do? Alrighty. Refresh the chat so I can see everybody. Great. Uh, I am a little washed out from this green shirt. Which is a different green than this green. Which you can't see because I have a color filter on. You can kind of see through it, though. Just the way the light is. It's weird. Um, so I thought I had blocked out the light behind it, but I had not. Okay, so... We have gone back to the beginning of life. We are at the primordial soup. This is Navi. Uh, we're the Avatar, which is the red dude. Um, you know what? I do not like the name. Avatar, I'm going to be Abby. Navi and Abby. So we're Navi and Abby. Now, for right now, we can only do one face of the cube at a time. So we're going to zoom in. I've only played this a bit. Um, it's still really fun, don't get me wrong. I've only played this a bit. They, we're, we're in tutorial mode, so we Okay, great. We're the red dot. We're the little Google pointy bit. Um, I'm not actually doing it. So we need to make this place able to sustain life and then go through the eras of Earth's history. A nice little inlet here. There we go. Yeah. I know there's a way to expand our cursor. I'm not seeing it right now. I think I have to go till I'm exhausted. And then Navi's going to let us continue on from here. Yeah, there we go.
Okay, so we're healed up. Oh, there we go, valley source. Oh, we got a big deep valley. Got another big deep valley. Now we've made an ocean. Well, a gap that will be an ocean. Yeah. Yeah. This works. Also, hope you guys like the uh, more. There we go. Hope you like this more uh, minimalistic view where it's just the face cam. Reminds me of the old days. Yeah. So we have the broth of life. Now, we will have life. So we're gonna go far away. We're gonna watch the world. So we have life news. Uh, phytoplankton exists. Yep. Uh, again, we're in the tutorial for now, so we have to mess with shit until we get to the right part of evolution. Some zooplankton. It's important. So sometimes uh, spe species will die. More and more phytoplankton. They seem to have gotten stagnant. Oh, there it is. Stromatolite. That's what we've been waiting for. Let's find that stromatolite. It's the pink dot on our map. Okay, we have now captured it. This is stromatolite. It's just algae rock. It's fine. It's fine. It's a fine creature. It's our first real living life form that's not teeny tiny. part about view mode. Lava. Okay. So, let's get out of view mode. Because that's no fun. Uh, we are going to make... Yeah, no, you are 100% right, Craig family. It is super easy to just mess up this world. Okay, well then, 
let's get down here. Find that stromatolite. And, like, drop some ground. Okay, maybe not that much ground. Let's give it a nice wide area to work in. Because it likes wide open spaces. I mean, not the best Dixie Chick song, but it'll work. That was a dated joke. Okay, there we go. First amphibian, eh? I have gotten past there before. We're gonna see if I can duplicate that success. Back to big view. And let time start. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, things are getting up. That's good. Ooh. Okay, a seed of life. Okay, time to make a jellyfish. I hate jellyfish. Which is part of the reason why, uh, what's the name of that show? I've been watching. Uh, they had a joke on uh, Purgatoni. Uh, I'll get you, jellyfish. I just thought that was the funniest thing for some reason. Probably because I just hate jellyfish so much. There we go. I know it's weird that I hate jelly. It's anything with tentacles. Tentacles freak me out. Now, if, if you're using that as a reason to send me tentacles, instead, uh, Snicker bars freak me out. Yeah, that's how that works. Anyway. Uh, okay, let's go down here and capture this jellyfish, though. Because, I mean, this is basically Pokemon. Except Pokemon Snap. Yeah, I mean, okay, to be fair, when it looks at it you know, from that angle... It looks like a little chow blob. I love him. Okay, so that's our pink guy. Cause Oh, he's an animal, so he's red. Got it. Okay. So now we need to turn on time. see here. What do we know? Oh, hey, we have our library. Uh, so we know Colunia is a plant. Aha, birth temperature. He's between 43 and 51. I'm oh, sorry, 53. Okay. So what is our current temperature? Oh, yeah, we're on the right path. So it's killing all the jellyfish. Oh, there it goes. somewhere. There it is. We got a Colonia. Thank you, Buttercup, for remembering my horrible fear of cephalopod. The thing is, I can see where people think they're cute. It is not, they are not for me. Um, okay, so let's see here. We have uh, some life to get a picture of. Where are you? There you are. 
Ooh, seed of mutation. All right, it's just seaweed. We got seaweed, though. I've gotten excited over dumber Pokemon. Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's uh, raise this up a little, because this one particular drop is freaking me out. Oh, ooh. Hmm. So things are about to get worse. Okay, but we need it to be 43 degrees to get this little trilobite dude. Okay. Was it dropping land makes the temperature go up or raising land? No, it's dropping land. We gotta drop the land. Need some nice shallows. You wonder why I hate cephalopods. It's all the fault of Jules Verne and Walt Disney. The two of them together. That's where it started. Namely because there was a... Uh, They're showing some version of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea on Disney Channel. And I don't know why. That just set something off in me. It awakened a terrible fear. So everyone goes like, oh, you, you hate squids. You must really be a fan of Lovecraft. I mean, he's all right. But like, I don't know why Cthulhu I'm fine with. The horrible eldritch squid that's going to eat your brain I can deal with. But like real life ones, no, nah, they, they scary. I ain't doing that. We need to get this so that it's at about 45. 45 is going to be our sweet spot, I think. You got to treat it like a microwave when it still tells you to do it between uh, 8 and 10 minutes. Use all that college math to know that they mean 9 minutes. You see, you're a human and able to do math. I assume. You may not be a human. I don't know your life. But most people are human. That's my understanding. Certainly there's a couple of vampires out there. Yeah, okay, seriously, like, I don't know why, but just that scene with the, uh, with the giant squid, uh, just terrifies me so much. Where are you, jellyfish? All right, getting out of there, turn it on time. Okay, yeah, let's just go down and say hi to some creatures. Anomalocaris, the greatest of shrimps. I know he's not really a shrimp. And it's the dumbest thing. The main thing I always remember Anomalocaris for is being like the third monster in uh, Kamen Rider Double. <laughs> Ooh, did we get the weird slug? Yep, weird slug. Okay, so he told us, I'm mean, saying he, I don't know what Nabby's deal is. All right, so we need to get this place. We're in the right range, actually, but our moisture, actually our moisture is fine too. Oh wait, no, it's not. 
How do we make it mo No, yeah, moisture's fine. Okay, I guess this is just life now. Let's go. And we killed off a plant. Uh-oh. Alright, Kaluni is back. That's how evolution works. Creatures just die and reappear. Not just another creature taking its niche, but the exact creature, genetically identical, will reappear. There it is. Baragwanathia. Hey, Baragwanathia. You're going to help us get back to our time. Namely, the modern world. Okay, so we have a fern. We've leveled up and we can do bigger things. And, uh... Our fern... Our underwater seaweeds are back. And now we're gonna go back to our world and find out... No, we ended up in the Denovian period. So it's like, well, what are you gonna do in the Denovian period? I don't know. Stuff. Okay, and we saved, and we're good. Alright, we're in the cave. Better run home. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> well, hey, we have more land. Kidding. We worked hard to birth a land plant. I guess that wasn't enough. Yeah, we have to make humans. Okay, so now we gotta get to dinosaurs. So, how do we get to dinosaurs? I think, um... Ooh. Small rain cloud, strong sunlight, okay. I like the river source. Okay, so I'm gonna go, well one, I'm gonna go fly around, pick up items. And like, that's the thing, they trick you into using the viewing mode because some items will not respond to you unless you're either super deep or in viewing mode. I gotta get out of the core of the earth. Get some items. There we go. Make everyone seasick for a bit. Okay. Other way. A nice little waterfall river. That flows into our little ocean. Because that, that just looks nice. Why wouldn't you do something that looks nice? Okay.
There we go. Look at how pretty this river is. It's going to be great. Um... I don't know what's kind of ingenious in its own obnoxious way. I was not paying full attention. Um, okay. Oh, we have another item. Oh. I know what you're talking about. You're talking about when we were in first person mode. Yes. Okay. So we need to get library wise to this guy next. And he needs somewhere. Actually, he's in our right range right now. Oh, but he won't be for long. Shit. Okay. So let's start lowering some land. Okay. Oh, we're out of power. Let's heal up. There we go. Okay, we need to get this to like 36 as its goal, not the 31 it's currently at. Or 34 it's currently at. There we go. That looks way better. And then let's start dropping more land here. Like, we don't need these little crags. Not right now, anyway. So we just gotta make this look nice. Like, one thing I have noticed, though, is that even though I have that weird fear of cephalopods and such, like, I can, my brain can rationalize that it's just a picture, don't worry. I know some people with, like, fears of spiders, that a picture of spiders uh, will throw them off just as bad. Uh, one of the, in the first iteration of the Magic Club that I ran, um, back when I was a middle school teacher, um, one of my students who was in the Magic Club was playing with the green rookie deck. And he thought, oh, green, that'll be a great color. I love animals. And he pulled Giant Spider from the deck and freaked out so badly. Um, so in the classroom, there was like this um, metal pole that was like there for communication stuff, like to connect to the uh, internet and such. And he slammed his arm into it so hard, he started bleeding. And of course, it's like, oh no, this was the small human to which I was entrusted. Or sorry, in which was entrusted me. You know what I mean. It's like, ah, crap, I'm supposed to protect this kid. Here he is bleeding all over the classroom. Uh, so that was a bit of a feels bad. Um, having to explain that to his dad when he got picked up from club wasn't great either. Yeah. He was fine. It was just a scratch, but there was more blood than I think either of us were prepared for. Um... 
so he was a little freaked out. Alright, get out of here. Heal up. Yeah, the tiny human was fine. I was about to say he's not that tiny, but he was one of my shorter kids, so yeah. Oh no, tiny human is actually a pretty good uh, deal for him. Um, yeah, he just did not have the best day. Oh, hmm. so all my green places are losing they're green. That's a problema. There we go. Okay. Let's try this now. It's getting greener. We have two birthdays to celebrate. Fantastic. Where are you, birthday creatures? A weed. We found a weed. Fantastic. And then what else is blinking pink on our mini map there? Oh, there it is. Ha ha. I think this is what we needed. Nope, that's just a clam. Just, just a clam. Hey, more happy birthdays. Okay. So let's scan these two guys. <gasps> Are you one of our guys? No, you're not. You're the weird slug. Is it you? No. Oh, 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 it's over here. Okay. A mountain plant? Okay. What's this? A rhinia plant. Okay. That's neat. What about you? Are you the animal we're waiting on? Yeah, you are. I recognize you. You're the fish from the sequel prequel to Walking with Dinosaurs, Walking with Monsters. The first fish that got eaten by all them scorpions. Yep. I remember this. And I'm fond of that fish. That fish is a trooper. Okay, so we are going to check the... Library. Okay, we need this fish now. It needs to be between 30 and 40. I think we're there. Um, and it needs to be in the sea. Okay. I mean, a lot of these are, at this point, just chill. I think that's it. Alright, so we got the fishy that we needed. We are working our way towards... The dinosaurs. Okay, hold up. Where's a blinky dot? On the, wait a minute. Expand controls. Enlarge mini map. Um. Thank you. Okay, we need to find the fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Ah, there you are. We got the fishy. Yeah, it's a nice little fishy. Alright, so. Next up in our stack of things to get is a coelacanth. Which we need to make it colder in the deep sea. Okay. Well, let's make a deep sea over here, so... I'll drop the ground a little bit here. I don't want to kill our other fishy to 
get to this. This feels like it would be considered deep sea. Oh no, we gotta go deeper. Red is watching Meet the Robinsons in the other room. And I'll be honest, if I wasn't dedicated to coming out uh, to being here and streaming, I would be so tempted. Just go out there and watch. I really like Meet the Robinsons. I did not like it when it came out. It had to grow on me. Uh, but I guess that's true of a lot of movies, actually. There was just a certain time period where I became, like, a movie snob for a bit. Uh, and then I realized, like, I was stopping myself from enjoying shit, so I stopped. And now I just enjoy things. Um, the first step to healing is to stop watching cinema since. It, or rather, Cinema Sins can be funny, but don't treat it like gospel. Very few things should be treated like gospel. I mean, the gospels, I suppose. That's what they're there for. And, uh, to help you accidentally bond with your mother-in-law. Because, by the way... Buttercup, thank you for dragging me to at least one Easter Mass in my life. Um, I believe it was you who did this. Because uh, my mother-in-law, uh, her denomination, does a lot of the same rituals as the Catholic Church. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, and so I was ready for when I went to Easter Mass with her. Um... Buttercup is uh, one of my friends in the real world. In meat space. Speaking of friends in meat space, uh, hopefully one of my friends in cyberspace will be becoming a friend in meat space uh, at GP Vegas. Because even though everything else is terrible, I'm already booked for GP Vegas, so I'm going to do it. Dang it. Bloom. Bloom. You are plenty useful. And not just for reminding me about songs by the Archies. Yep. Okay, now we gotta wait for that fishy to show up. And if it doesn't show up soon, I'm just gonna start wondering. There it is. Yeah, so, very much looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of people at GP Vegas. Some re-meeting, like uh, Chuck. I'm very excited to see again. I love the coelacanth in this game. It's so cute. If real fish looked like this, I would have less fear of aquatic life. Look, look, look at this schmuck. Where are you? He's, he's literally in a hole. Hi. I just live here now. Okay, you know what, Mr. Coelacanthus? I need to free you. Like a small Pikachu on Tumblr. There we go. Now you have more room, Mr. Coelacanthus. See? You have room now. A little bit more room. Keep your Coelacanths in wider tanks, people. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to fix this part over here for Mr. Coelacanthus. Because he deserves it. Because he is a cute little fishy. There we go. A lot of things in the... Nope, pressed the wrong button. Went back to the, to the world. And... Back up. Lepi 
Leodondidron. I thought that said Leopluridon, and now I'm mildly uh, disappointed because I wanted a magical Leopluridon. Whoa. But what I think we have instead is somebody out here. I think we do. Who's outside? Oh, it's a tree. Dendron. Nope, that makes sense now. Yep. God dang, is this game cute. Autumn Fern and the Blue Grandma. That sounds like a children's book. Okay, what are you? You are the Blue Grandma. Autumn Fern and the Blue Grandma. Yeah, no, that sounds like a children's book. I, I could totally see there being a children's book protagonist named Autumn Fern. That feels like something a children's book protagonist would be named. I'm glad that at least one person in the chat is agreeing with me on the cuteness of that coelacanthus. That is one cute coelacanthus. Okay, the Elrathia is apparently about to go extinct. Let's find the guy who just popped up, though. Feeling it might be on land. We are getting more land. Okay, since the last time I've played this, uh, I've seen Bill Wurst's uh, history of everything, I guess. And now, all I can really think of is... Hey, come on, land. No, why not? The sun is a deadly laser. Also, there's no food. And now we've made food. According to Bill Wurst, we are well on our way to there being land-dwelling creatures. So that is helpful. Ah, uh, Elrathia died off. Oh! Silopython. Okay. Bloop. Oh, blinking pink dot. Blinking pink dot. We got another plant. Fantastic. It's a grass. I don't think we have real trees yet. I think we just have tall ferns. Like, real trees are beyond us uh, a bit right now. Let's make a different, more second ocean. Okay, what, are we, what am I aiming at again? Oh, right, we need this guy. We need it between 27 and 33. And... Okay. 27 and 33. Oh, but we're aiming at 35. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. Okay. Well, let's make... Some hills over here, I guess. A nice little plateau. I do like Meet the Robinson. Like, it's weird. It's one of those things that I wouldn't have liked when I was younger. Uh, some of the hills in the same department, actually. Like, things I just did not like when I was younger. But as I got older, they became better.
problem. I I understand the being one off and trying to figure it out problem. That is often me when sorting magic cards, which is a pro problem I do have to deal with because every common I've bought in like the last couple months is back there. Like I'm not just buying boxes of commons. I have done that, but that's when I needed to start my collection. I'm well past that point. I'm at the point of trying to get rid of some cards. But I also need to sort cards so I can see what I already have for decks. And that's part of the plan for GP Vegas. Um, which, by the way, if you have any interest in Magic the Gathering, please go to a GP. Um, they're basically free to get in. Uh, which totally makes it worth it. Though, there are parts you have to pay to get in, so... Those things of, if I suddenly ended up 60 bucks over budget, I'd go to the commander party. And it's weird, because I had no interest in commander until recently. Um, unless you, we were playing Horde. That, that's my exception. Because Horde turns magic, uh, specifically commander, into pandemic. Fight all the zombos. And you know what? I like to fight all the zombos. It is a wonderful time for all when you get to fight the zombos. There we go. And more stuff is growing. There's absolutely no way of knowing which way they are growing. Oh, what's over here? Bloop. Oh, you know what? Thank you, Stay Hydrated Bot. I should stay hydrated. Mm, so hydrated. All right, where are those items? There we go. I do like that you don't need to get directly at them. Ooh. Hey, you know what sucks? Having tinnitus. Jeez. Ooh, bad news. That That is bad news. That's a lot of inches to rip out. So, we are at almost a million years since the dawn of life. Uh, according to this thing's calendar, which I don't imagine is super duper accurate. Okay, there's one. There's two. Conifer. Oh, man. Do we have our first real tree? Oh, look at that. We made a pine tree. Whoop. Yeah, so before we go to um, Vegas, I'm going to need to make some commander decks and a horde. I have my orc horde. I just want to get a zombie horde together instead because that feels more like what people should be experienced to or exposed to with horde first. Because um, what I want to do is just track down people who I've talked to online but sadly have never had a chance to meet in real life for whatever reason. Typically geography and geology. No, rocks are not the problem. Just where rocks are. So geography. Um... Anyway, and then play some Horde with them. Things are dying, things are growing.
jellyfish is dead. A lot of things are dead. Pine trees doing great. All right, we are almost to our first amphibian, though. Fake caps, what are you? Oh, you died and come back a couple of times, haven't you? Let's see here. Oh, we need 27. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. I can apparently raise the temperature a little bit now. Let me double check this. 27 to 33, okay. Here we go. Buttercup, you message me after this stream is done or just sometime in the future. I'll be more than happy to help you get back into magic in various forms. Uh, and, of course, one I am always going to suggest is uh, Magic Arena. I'm very fond of Magic Arena. Um, for a variety of reasons, it is, one, just fantastic. Oh, he's a little pink blob. They appear to have taken the place of Cyclomedusa. Yes, they have. There we go. There we go. And yes, my sibling-in-law also plays magic and often kicks my butt. So I understand your feeling. Um, I'm apparently very good at teaching people to play magic. Um, which is why there's part of me that just wants to like write a letter to wizards going, Hey, make me your liaison for school districts. Get more kids playing magic competitively in schools. Little this. Make little uh, trophies that they can uh, win for like local magic leagues. Totally worth it. It's a mollusk. It's another mollusk. Uh, okay, so other things I'm working on. I'm currently <laughs> running one D&D &D game, uh, prepping people for another one that's about to start, and... Pretty soon I will be running a third one for my family, uh, the family I married into, but still my family. Uh, so, Michaela's side of the family. Um, however, it dawned on me uh, yesterday that I am not uh, just DMing three games now. I am also helping two teenagers DM their games. And the three games I'm DMing are in three different editions. The one that we went and did today is Pathfinder, which I'm going to count as 3.5-B. Because that's what it is. It's 3.5, but not. Alright. This guy's taking forever to show up, so let's double check here. Alright. A coelacanth flourished. Okay, Coelacanth can live through anything. Um, has to be on land. Got it. Hmm. 27 to 33. Let's look here. Oh, it got too cold. Well, shit.
Coelacanth is still down there. Hey, Coelacanth. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? Cute little fishy, ain't ya? So one is 3.5 dash B. One is uh, fourth edition, but highly modified. And one is fifth edition, mildly modified. Um, and I have to be the only person I know who's not only just a forever GM, but one who has run enough editions that it's like, no, yeah, I can do that. And then it dawns on me what I'm doing. <laughs> it's like, crap, but now I've made a social obligation. And so I have to. Um, now, we've been playing 4th edition with Michaela's family since uh, she and I started dating. Uh, in fact, her, their campaign started before I came into the picture. Uh, I was a late edition, um, and it took me forever to not feel like I had just uh, intruded. <gasps> we have our first land creature. It's just not the right half of evolution. It's a spider who looks like he was felted. Look at this guy. He looks like a little felt plushie. He's adorable. Oh, I love him. Yeah, can't deal with mollusks, but spiders I'm fine with. Except for black widows, because... Uh, I know I've told this story on stream before, but I've been bitten by Black Widows twice within the same month. Um, so not that fond of Black Widows. Um, but, oh, no, he died. Well, we lost our little spider, buddy. That's okay. He'll be, be He'll be back. Okay, so he's back, but so I think he's back. Let's double check our library. Yeah. Okay, 27 to 33. Moisture, 49 to 88. Okay, what's our moisture at? 27. How do we get... All right. We need to expand the ocean this way, I guess? I do love the polka dots on that little spider. He's so cute. Um, but yeah, so they've been running this 4th edition game for a while. It's been going on. This is actually their second campaign. Uh, they started in 3-5, tried to do the world's largest dungeon, and all basically died. They had a party wipe by room 3. Um, so that happened. Anyway, so I'm running a 4th edition game. And I, the reason I'm telling this is because Buttercup's in the room. And Buttercup's sister would probably like to know this, but I don't have her in the room, so I'm just going to pass this on to Buttercup and hope that this information gets passed along. Um, there is a... I'm bringing in some themes that my family is not used to, because... Uh, Buttercup is a horse's name! But, but no, Buttercup is the name of the user in the room. Uh, well, I also accept that Buttercup is the name of some horse somewhere. Please do not call our friend we have in common a horse, as I don't think she would appreciate that, right? Oh, sorry. Um, either that or she'll think that's the funniest thing in the god dang world. This is what I think of when I think of horses is Buttercup. I mean, that is the name of Bojack's mom, so... I can't blame you. 
No, sorry. His mom's Beatrice. Oh. There is a buttercup in his family, though. Um, wait, is his dad buttercup? His dad has, like, a traditional racing horse name. Um, and that is... And now that I'm blanking on that. <laughs> um... <laughs> Apparently that made her laugh so hard that her husband thought she died. So, I, apparently you win. Anyway, so, um, Mi Familia um, has been running this game. Uh, cousin Jen, who also married into the family, so solidarity there, I suppose. Um, does that make my cousin twice removed? I guess it does. Anyway. Uh, she has been taking inspiration from Avatar The Last Airbender and Lord of the Rings and I'm assuming Terry Brooks because there's some overlap with some Terry Brooks stuff there, but it would not be the first time that somebody just happened to be a similar writer. Um, kind of like how people keep assuming I'm connected to uh, Hemingway when I write. Anyway, or that uh, at least I'm, I guess I'm okay with Hemingway. He's fine nothing quite fancy there. Oh wait, 28 was fine. Why am I trying to get back down to 27? Uh, 29's better though. Like, like if we can keep this in the 30s. There we go. Anyway. Um, I'm bringing in very different uh, directions than a bunch of elemental powers and the elves are the most important things on ever, etc. Um, Ichthyostega. This is who we were waiting for. Okay, Ichthyostega. We have an amphibian. We're doing great. Ichthyostega is a fun word to say. Ichthyostega. Anyway, um, so inspirations I'm drawing from for my fourth edition game uh, include Fallout, uh, the band Steam Powered Giraffe, and I'm saying things and Red's making faces, so let's see how many more things I can say that'll make Red make faces. No, I was looking for a thing on my back. That's weird. Um, but yeah, I'm pulling uh, a... It doesn't hurt anymore. It's just the Okay, let's find Trimerophyte. Where are you, Trimerophyte? Which is apparently a plant. Did that mean you refer to us as second cousins? I mean, no. I, no, I was referring to Jen. Uh, and that was cousins twice removed. We are much further apart than that. Yeah, we're like... Fifth, at least. Yeah. Um, but no, I was referring to Jen. And I was doing the... Because I think once removed is how many marriages it took to it get to you. No, um... There's that generational differences. It's a generational difference, because I have a second cousin, and my second cousin is twice removed is their kid. Okay. Which I'm then what's the, the wedding week. thing? Hey, Demetrodon showed up. Fantastic. No, like the marriage thing. Like, what's your cousin by marriage? Cousin, cousin in law? By marriage. Okay. <laughs> that I thought that was the removed because the marriage was how they got removed from their family. No, by uh, removed is generational difference. Oh, okay. So, like my first cousin once removed oh. is my cousin's kid. That old Dimetrodon. He's all like, Bleh. it's looking pretty good. There's We're up to reptiles. Cousin. No, second cousin would be your the, your mom's cousin's children. So yeah. her cousin once removed is your second cousin. Yes. Okay. I figured it. Yeah, we figured it out. Right. Family tree naming is weird. It is. You know why? Because the British fucking invented it. 
I thought she... I thought Red was just going to say because the British are fucking. Um, so, let's see. we got to bring the temperature up now to 30 to 40. So, let's go with, like, 39. Yeah, so... Uh, we're using a bit of Fallout uh, in the campaign. We are using a bit of... Uh, using the wrong buttons right now is what I'm doing. Using a bit of Fallout. We're using a bit of uh, Steam World. I love the Steam World game so much. We're using uh, just a lot of very weird ways to do things. One of the ways I'm doing things is I've is uh, actually Alexandra Aaron, who I believe I'm I may be wrong on this, but I believe they were the Tumblr user Blue Author. Um, either way, wonderful individual, um, albeit one who I don't agree with everything, but uh, they're still pretty great. Uh, their current job is helping people dissect the news. Or digest the news, not physically. Because that'd be just like, here's the New York Times, eat it. Um, and that's not what they do. But anyway. Uh, they had, uh, she had some thoughts on, um, 4th edition. Specifically, what kind of world has so many different ancient buried cities? What does it take for that many ancient buried cities to show up? So many ruins. Well, the answer is a world that's been through a couple of apocalypses. Um, now, I'm also fond of magic, and that describes Dominaria to a T. But uh, I'm also fond of Numenera, so I'm taking some insp inspiration from Numenera. Numenera being another RPG. Uh, Numenera Torment. Or, sorry, Torment, uh, the something. Tides of Numenera? I don't know. It's about a world that is million... Oh, my goodness, my nose is itchy. Millions of years in the future. They call it the Ninth World because there's been at least eight others. Um, and it's like high fantasy mixed with post-apocalyptic stuff. It's really, really fun. And on, oddly, this is one area where the octopuses in it I actually really enjoy because they're just sarcastic oh my goodness my nose is itchy mm. I think I scratched it so much it is now irritated and will continue to be itchy forever um, anyway in Numenera one of the things they have is the octopuses as a playable race and they became sentient and immortal which is terrifying to me as a potential future but really neat to me as like a concept yeah. Um, so anyway, these hyper-intelligent octopuses, when they run into humanity after it re-evolves in the ninth world, it's just, oh, you're back. And I just think that's the funniest damn thing. I don't know why. The idea of, like, not only will octopuses outlive us, but they'll be, like, really petty about it. Aloe with lidocaine. That's not from a sunburn, I don't believe. I am normally just very flush. Anyway. Yeah, I think we're making decent time here. Um, with getting to our dinosaurs. Okay, so we need to get it to 40, I think, is a fair temperature. Ah, oh, there's so much land we need to get rid of. Or just so much sea we need to make deeper. Right. Well, let's just do it here. Okay, time to heal up. Anyway. Um, yeah, you just have these, um... 
really sassy octopi anyway. So, fourth edition games can take some inspirations from that, but also from Fallout and just all these apocalypses going on. So, I decided one of the dungeons has to be like an old Fallout shelter from one of the Fallen Empires. Because, I mean, that's how America reacted to we're all gonna die. So why wouldn't some fantasy people do it? I realize that's kind of dark, but, I mean, it's D&D. You're going in and robbing tombs, and it's not even archaeology. Like, some of those guys died recently. So, why not? Why not just count it? Um, yeah, so you have... No, I think it's, it's, it's a fun idea of going through this dungeon, and it's really a futuristic... Um, stego fight. What is a stego fight? That's stego fighting. Oh, there you are. Nope. Got him. Yeah, okay, I can see that. It'll probably help. Okay. Back to fast forwarding time. Come on, we gotta get up to like 40 degrees here. Oh, Eoraptor! It was not Egoraptor. Finally, we have dinosaurs! Let's find our dinosaur friend. Hello, friend. Where are you? Oh, there's our Dimetrodon. Hello, Dimetrodon. There's our amphibian friendo. Are you way up here? No. Oh, wait, wait. Let's turn around. There he is. We got him. Oh, no, Ichthyostega is about to die. First dinosaur, it appeared in hot climates after propagation of its prey, Dimetrodon. It stands on two legs and hunts in packs. Neat. So we have to move on till we can get back to our world, the human world. We did good. It said so. We got a trophy. I'll take a trophy. I, it does have cute little spikes. Who do you think created you anyway? This child is turning into a god. And it's uh, a little concerning. Okay, so we gotta get through the era of dinosaurs. Then we're in the era of mammals, I think. Oh, more land. Ooh, dear. Australopithecus. Well, it's time for some global warming, apparently. I 
I need to make a T-Rex. A goddamn T-Rex. Majestic. Where are you, you asshole? There he is. Wait, wait, wait. Can I make Ankylosaurus? Is Ankylosaurus at... Ooh. Uh, that is just a straight-up frog. Okay, so we do have some other critters that are going to show up as we aim for T-Rex. I am going to look for Ankylosaurus in here, but I have a feeling... No, I don't get Ankylosaurus. Darn it! No favorite dinosaur for me. Alright, so I need 41 to 51 degrees. With low moisture. Okay. So, we're going to go out this way. To, like, the barren wastelands. And just kind of make a second ocean. So we gotta make this thing aim for 41 degree. Wait, was it 41? I already forgot. Yeah, at least 41. So I have some moving to do. Uh, okay, let me see here. Is that Lucy or another hominid? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh... The dinosaur tank had plates on his back and spikes on his flank. Uh, but yeah, we gotta get to this. We gotta get to sue the T-Rex first. So I said I was making an ocean. I ended up just making an Olympic swimming pool. So a gentrified ocean. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. We're going to put a Whole Foods in on that island. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some lofts, like some converted lofts. Um, you know what will really help is uh, if we create a bustling theater scene. I think Dimetrodon really has the chops to be in cats. Uh, but I don't know if I'd trust him for Sweeney Todd, and that's what he's really been hoping for. So, but don't tell him I said that. It'll make Demetrodon sad. Alright, so let's get this to like 45 degrees, I think. We'll probably get some sharks in the meantime. to make one little connection between this. Go boop. Okay. Let's let that warm up a bit. I mean, I've already directly caused global warming, so I don't know how much more damage I can do to this planet. I also may have wiped out humanity already, and we just had to start from scratch. Okay, what just arrived?
is. Ooh, I forgot to blink. That's a problem. It's another one of those. I hit those. There we go. Oh, that's why I couldn't find it. It had died. Anyway, where was I? Right. So just a big old um, D and D campaign with bomb shelters full of like robots and golems, and of course hiding in one of them. Uh, I'm going to hide steam-powered giraffe. Like not not in name, but it's them. Uh, and I'll be using a couple of good chunks from the uh, Steam World Heist soundtrack. Because uh, Steam World Heist is also a fantastic game, and that is one I think I probably should stream sometime in the near future. I want to do more streaming. I had basically convinced myself not to stream anymore. Like, oh, nobody even cares who would watch me. Clearly, people are watching me. I have a chat I'm talking to, even if it's just one person talking. There's other people there. It's like, I shouldn't be doing it because, like, oh, it's pointless. I should be doing it because I like it. I do like it. That's the goal. Did it just die off again? Gosh darn it. Yes! It just died off again. How dare it. Oh, because the temperature's dropping again. Letting things refill a bit. There we go. Yeah, so... Oh, and you know what? On top of both of those, there is also another Pathfinder game I'm going to be running soon. Yay! So many things! Okay, let's let that go off. Temperature starts increasing. Oh, there we go. Your after is doing better. <gasps> Cactuses. Oh boy. 
You know what I really wish I could afford to get? Because I really wish I could afford to uh, back uh, Trial by Trolley. That looks like, a, if you can do that, uh, I suggest it. Because that looks like a wonderful game, especially if you enjoy hard moral choices based on philosophy things. I don't know, it looks neat. I've been enjoying the campaign for it. I realize it's probably ridiculous to be excited for a, uh, like, just a product to buy, but here we are. It's an indie pro product, though, so it's okay. Okay, we gotta find that cactus and scan it. Where are you, cactus? Oh, wait a minute, is cactus gonna be up on the plateaus? It might be. I doubt it, though. Oh, there it is. Got it. Captured the cactus. There it is. Finally got that Diphelia. That's what we were waiting on. Thing. There's a creature between Eoraptor and T Rex. I think I need this guy. I think I need Velociraptor. Okay, it needs 10 to 64%. So, like, this area is actually perfect for him. What I need to find is an Eo Raptor. There's one. Rat, that's a lot of dinosaurs all at once. What a plesiosaur!
Wait, now I'm confused how I'm described. How am I described? That that's a Velociraptor. Oh, they're feathery in this game. Wonderful. I don't know if you heard Red, but Red just had childlike glee. I think Red's been eating too many children. <gasps> Hello, big friend. I don't know where you got them leaves from, but you are a big felty friend. Well, what else was I supposed to be doing with all the children at that my gingerbread house? Children are high in cholesterol, Red, and you know that. <laughs> Eudemorphodon? No, Eudemorphodon. Uh, I think that's how that would go. Yeah, we, we just got a straight-up Scottish legend right over here. Just just Nessie. Just Nessie chilling. And are, are all of them, like, mildly felty? No, this one's leathery. It's a cute game. I do gotta tell you, though, my least favorite part of my trip to Scotland was going to Loch Ness. Why is that? It's just boring. It's just a lake with a castle, and I'm like, we, we <laughs> saw like 50 different castles and lakes on the way uh, here. It's just a lake with a castle? We're in Scotland. That's called normal. the perfect uh, moment for an Instagram shot. <laughs> yes, and I missed it. I missed my chance to go to Instagram stardom. Go ah. fucking see a fake fucking monster. Oh, turning into gibberish at, as he elaborates could be very fun. I could see that. <laughs> Elrathia. Oh no, we got Elrathia a while ago, didn't we? They're just back. Elrathia, apparently. Okay, so we got Velociraptor, and Velociraptor should evolve into T-Rex? I don't think that's how evolution actually worked, but sure. I mean, evolution probably also was not exactly aided by a young alien boy in pajamas. Oh no, Velociraptor went extinct. Something is wrong. It's not... It's not dry enough anywhere? That adds up. I made too many oceans. So we need T-Rex to show up. Hmm. Too much moisture. I don't know where he got that meat. It's concerning.
Oh my god, the Brachiosaurus is so big that even zoomed out you can see him. I love him. Hello, Brachiosaurus. You're the best. He moved. He moved again. Okay, we got Triceratops. I mean, we'll need a Mastodon and a Sabertooth Tiger, and of course a Tyrannosaurus, but we're well on our way to a Megazord. That's the important part here. Yeah, we got a Triceratops, who's also a great dinosaur. And he looks all felty, and I love him. First things first. You're getting this. Are you telling me that we now have two Brachiosauruses? That, that's twice as many, and I love it. Okay. We, we need to do this so we get a T-Rex, I'm sorry. I'm cheating, basically. I'm using Seeds of Life. I can't think of a better way. Oh, there you are. Hi, yellow Triceratops. Dinoceratops. The Triceratops begin to prey on small animals in addition to grass. Oh, God. That one eats meat. Help. What else was new? That was it that was new. There he is. He gave us the fruit of knowledge. Adelo Baselius. Okay, let's find that T Rex before I kill off the dinosaurs. Okay, well, there's Eo Raptor, and there's Velociraptor. Rexy. There he is. We have it. We have a T-Rex. What is this trophy called? Hold up. Me a tyrant? Oh, that simply will not do. Oh, wonderful. Okay, you know what though? Before we oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Animimus. I do I did want a Tyrannomimus before we left. I thought I'd get Allosaurus for some reason. But I'll take it. Oh, adaptive to lower temperatures. 
it will not la allow smaller prey to escape. Okay. So we need to go and find ourselves. Who, who is it? Who are we looking for? Up here. Okay. Adela Baselius. So we need to drop the temperature down to like 35. Okay. We're getting there. colder that's the important part here Sorry, dinosaurs, you gotta die so this child may be reunited with its family.
Here we go. Did it die? Poor Nessie. Alrighty, we're getting there. Things are getting better. We're almost to 35. Okay, stay hydrated, but we'll do it your way. I'll stay hydrated. Alright. Let's let the temperature drop faster. Oh! Looks like a little conifer. Oh, this thing looks weird. Ah, thank you for the bit, Skippy. Always appreciated. Especially right now. All things considered. Okay. We're almost to the point of mammals showing up. Couple dinosaurs are here. Got these itty bitty lizard guys. Still have Eoraptor. A 
lot of sea slugs. They're doing surprisingly well. Oh, darn, I'm sorry. Let's fix that. How's that? Hopefully that helps a bit. And then uh, let's turn up the console volume just a smidge. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's put us in the, this range. Okay. Very sorry. I'm still trying to get back my groove when it comes to this. Okay, so things are dying. Oh, right, right, right. No, that's just a plant. I don't care about that. I need to see this guy in the tree, so... I need a Metrodon. Okay, I have that one. I have a guy who looks like him. That's the raptor's family tree. Small lizard. Okay. So we need 35 to 45 to get to this guy who's 30 to 40. Uh, okay. So I actually need to warm the planet up a little bit. Okie dokie. So like 36 is actually where I need to be. There we go. Okay, let's actually just lower the giant frosted mountain peak. Same for 36. There we go. Okay, so the problem is I don't have any more Dimetrodons, which that's, that's actually a bit of a problem. How do I get Dimetrodon back? Oh. I gotta get even colder. That makes sense, actually. Well, what if I tried... some global cooling? Pink glowing dots. Blink, pink blinking dots, rather. Oh, 
Let's see. Shadowrun 6th edition looks fun. I wouldn't know. I haven't seen... Oh, it died already. We need to get this to like 28, 27 to get a Dimetrodon. Because I don't think we have any more Dimetrodons. They're gone. Dimetrodon is Dimetrogon. There we go. God, the cactus has just kind of took over this place. Okay, so now to get Dimetrodon back to 35 degrees.
Okay. And now we rest. Hopefully Dimetrodon's numbers go up. Oh, there you are, Dimetrodon. There we are. Run for a bit. Okay. Okay, dropping more land. Thank you. 
Phenacodon, where are you? There you are. Let's find the new life. Because there is some. I know there is. It just said there was. Oh, hello. Who are you? Parasuchus. Are you related to Dinosuchus, aren't you? Apparently, that was funny to Red. Hello, Fundo. You're the one I've been waiting for, aren't you? So let's get those three new animals, one of which is a mammal. A creature that gives live birth and has fur. We need to find it. Are you it? Are you our mouse friend? It's a mouse friend. He's so cute. He has a smile. Look at him. I love him. Okay, and then this one is a little aquatic lizard. <gasps> it looks like a little, uh, looks like a little sea turtle. It's very cute. And who are you? Ooh, another little lizard. Who's our next step in evolution? Who's the next person we need? We need you. Who needs it a little colder? Okay. I can make that happen, little mouse. I can make that happen. Because from the look of it, new mouse goals needs it like
There we go. So we got to get to like 30 degrees now. That's our new goal, 30 degrees. Shame we had to kill off Nessie, but it's a necessity to save a child. Oh man, my cord was hitting my foot and I freaked out. Snowflake time. There we go. Man, that one frog is doing great. It's a snake. We've evolved a snake. Fantastic. Hi, Archon. We haven't seen you in forever. Welcome back. We evolved a snake. Um. Honestly, I've been better, but we're streaming again, and I'm happy about that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, there is a level of it that's, like, the push for, you know, subs, Patreons, etc., which we would love to have more of, but right now, I'm just trying to take things a day at a time. Figure that's important. Woody Vault, Woody Vault. not seeing any pink dots, so I think whatever evolved were things that we already got, or, no, it's a new thing, it's a new amphibian, but where is it? So we're looking for the pink blinking icon, oh wait, there it is. 
Got it. Ah, thank you, Archon. That is a huge help. Uh, that is very much appreciated. Oh, what is that? Oh, new plant life. Great. Yeah. And, like, yeah, there's, um... There's supposed to over on my Twitter right now. If you're... I mean, you're watching this live, obviously. But if... For people in the future... Like, don't look for it. But... Unless you really want to. There's a post right now on my Twitter... That kind of talks about what's going on and how everything's a little stressful now, admittedly. Um, we're trying to make things work. Um, and if you would like to help us make things work, follow that link, uh, twitter.com slash alchemy prime. Um, has ways you can help us do all the things. Yeah. Uh, it was from earlier today, so hopefully it's still up there. Okay, hold up. It, I keep getting things that, like, evolve and then die really fast. Like, uh, they're blinking, you miss some evolutions. What I gotta do is I gotta find that mouse. Mousy mouse. Oh, mousy mouse. Okay. Hold down the wrong button and using the wrong stick because I got my hand swapped. We're looking for the little gray mousey mouse. Wherever he may be. He was over here before. I don't know what Red's watching, but this is not the tone I was expecting because earlier it was Meet the Robinsons. That doesn't sound like Meet the Robinsons. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so there's clearly still some left of the Mousy Mouse. We just have to find out where he is and give him a seed of life. Which I realize I can't keep relying on the seed of life to get to the evolutions I need, but it's fine. Nope. Wait, wait, is he over here? Yeah, he is. Okay. Oh! Well, dang, that is... Wow. Okay. Trying to do math there. So you got give us the 100 already, and there's another 500. Thank you so much, Archon. I'm a little concerned that my alert didn't go off. Do I have my alerts turned off? No. Alert should be on. So concerned why I didn't hear that. But okay. Yeah. That's another problem to look into, apparently. Oh. Time to birth primates. Eosimius. Let's find this guy first. Because there is another cute mouse that I need to scan. Cute mouse, where are you? We... If we can get enough primates going, we get humans. And then I will have to no longer make global warming... It'll just happen on its own. Because it follows humans. Don't don't ask why that is. A lot of conflicting arguments. Okay. 
Yes, I will say hi to everyone for you, Archon. Okay, so that just means my volume's down. If the alerts actually went off. I will tell everyone hi for you. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, there you are. It's a black mouse. Hello, black mouse. Library. Okay. So that mouse we evolved leads directly to a monkey and to the woolly mammoth. Down to 27 degrees, eh? Alrighty. Thank you, Archon. I do appreciate it. You enjoy your sleep. Sleep is important, everyone. Says the man who's staying awake to play games on Twitch. this one slow for a little bit we're gonna run it slow until it gets to tr we're gonna run it fast to 25 degrees or 27 degrees then we're gonna run it slow ooh broadleaf tree Wait, what am I looking for plants. There's one plant. Got a plant. Nice. Plant leveled me up. And I got this weird mound thingy, my jigger. It's a mushroom. Oh, that's the Wyopterus. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's like a Dimetrodon, but it's not. Neat. Trimetrodon. That's what happens when you try Metrodon. All right, so.
Alright, so we need to find... I don't think I need to find anything. What I need to do... Is just this intense sunlight again. Make a place that's gonna, just going to be super dry. And then let it run for a while. Here's Eosimius. Where's the monkey? I think we can end tonight with a monkey and be fine. Do I want to get to humans? Yes, but I may save humans for another stream tomorrow. Because this game actually was a lot more uh, enveloping than I was expecting. Because I've played it before... But I don't think I've ever had it this much fun with it. Oh, 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 oh. Where are you? <gasps> there you are. Oh, he's a little red monkey. He's got a lie. A little lie markings. He's like a red panda monkey. I like him. He's a neat little monkey. So, it's time to go. You should know how this goes, because you're probably used to Twitch and YouTube by now. If you want to help us, and trust me right now, we will not say no to the help, we have some links for you to follow. Uh, down in the description of this thing, uh, there's my Twitter and Red's Twitter. Red's Twitter has a link to her coffee, if you want to help them feel better. Uh, if you come over to my side of things. I just have links to all the stuff we normally do to help out the show. Biggest things right now, we have our uh, Patreon. We have Twitch subs. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Twitch sub. We aren't saying you have to spend it on us, but we'd sure love it if you did. And uh, there's also our Teespring store if you want some nice shirts or mugs and some other merch. And there is a uh, there's one other thing is I have a Fiverr now. And I have a link on my Twitter, and that Fiverr I will make D&D &D characters and magic decks for you. Th just the list, but still, that gives you an idea of what to get. So, you want to help us do any of those things. If you can afford to do any of those things, just make sure you're following here on Twitch, you're subbed over on YouTube, and you're telling your friends to do the same thing. That always helps. And of course, watching. Watching is a big deal. I hope you all had a great day. I am going to stream again tomorrow. I'm going to try to make sure I'm doing at least one stream a week from here on out. We'll see how viable that is, but that's my new current goal, is at least one stream a week. Uh, I mean, barring something like ending up in horrible traction, but, you know, knock wood, hopefully that doesn't happen. Wait, anyway, it's been great seeing everyone again. It's been great talking with everyone again. It's been great streaming again. I hope you all have a wonderful evening. And uh, thanks for watching.